tell me, what's been bothering you this week? What would you like to share with me? I guess I'm just sick of empty rhetoric, really. The distance between what's said and what's done and what's offered and delivered just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So, I'd like to talk to you about how you feel about bureaucracy and institutional power. Funny you should ask. I've been thinking about that a bit. I tend to find bureaucracy limits, it restricts, it narrows things down and kills creativity really. I'm a bigger fan of dialogue really. Dialogue opens things up, dialogue is enabling. Dialogue offers hope and uh, without hope we're pretty screwed really. So, I thought this week we could really try and focus on the positive. So I want you to think of three things you're good at and, and share them with me, okay? Three things I'm good at. Mm. I suppose I'm quite good at dwelling on things and getting anxious about stuff. I'm pretty good at prevarication. And third thing, well, I make a pretty good veggie gravy, so I've been told. doing I was thought today we could talk a little bit about how we can you know develop you tell me about your development needs development needs I just like to be left alone really I get tired of other people's agendas and uh just like to tread water, I think. Is that all right? So, today I thought we could talk about purpose. Do you, do you feel you have much of a sense of purpose? Mm. Purpose. I mean, I do wonder what I'm for sometimes. I call myself an artist, but I don't know if that's really just a, a Trojan horse or like a flag of convenience. I mean, I mean, compared to, say, someone who does something proper, a plumber, a carpenter, an engineer, 
or nurse. I mean, what am I for? So, I understand you're a bit concerned about the amount of double and triple checking you're doing of everyday activities. Would you care to tell me about that one? Yeah. Checking things. I find myself locking the house, then unlocking the house so I can relock it to check I've locked it. And there's the iron. I leave the house, I come back to check I've unplugged the iron. And in the time I've left the house and returned, the iron's magically unplugged itself of its own accord, which is all a bit of a nuisance, really. So, today I'd like to I'd like to ask you about how you're feeling about when you feel on top of stuff. When you feel in control of things. Control, eh? trying to control my uh, inner control freak but they just keep ignoring me I mean what's their problem why don't they listen to me So, today I'd like you to share with me some of the things that give you affirmation or happiness in the world. Give me some examples. Hmm. Affirmation and happiness. I really enjoy watching the squirrels darting about in the garden. Great, aren't they? And bird song is awesome, isn't it? It's just blooming fantastic. Uh, basically, just I'm happiest when I'm not giving out, when I'm taking it in, when I'm in the moment. The trouble is, like keep forgetting where I put it. 